Fidgety Fish by Ruth Galloway Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and he squiggled. He darted and giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim till you're tired, but watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. He dived and he flipped. He leapt and he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket. He glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. But he still didn't feel tired. There were limpets that clung and jellyfish that stung. Tiddler swam on towards the big red starfish and butted it gently with his nose. The starfish just smiled, so Tiddler asked the clickety-clackety crab to play, but it scuttled off into the seaweed. Tiddler came to a big, dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home, and Tiddler swam in. Snap! Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. He trembled and shivered, and he shook and he quivered until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled. It turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Suddenly the big fish did an enormous burp and whoosh! Out shot Tiddler! Past the jellyfish and the clickety-clackety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish, and straight through his own front door. I hope you've used up all that energy, said his mom. But she would have to wait until morning to hear about his adventures, because Tiddler was already fast asleep. The end.